പൊളിറ്റിക്സ് കൊണ്ട് നിങ്ങൾ വയ്ക്കുന്നത് ചുമ്മാ പൊതുവാ പിള്ളേരെ പറ്റി റിലേഷൻസെ പറ്റി ചാപ്പറെ പറ്റി അവർ പോയി വന്ന ഊരെ പറ്റി പൊതുവായെല്ലാം എന്ത് പകുതി കഥയെല്ലാം ചൂണ്ടിക്കൊണ്ടിരിക്കുന്നത് Then after my father died, I felt kind of, I wanted to be content because after looking at him, at least, you know, it just, everyone was like, it's risky, but I want to take that risk. And I want to be like, I used to like watch Akka working, my father working, but yeah, and when I used to watch him, I used to, I, now I want to become a journalist. Because of him. Yeah, and because of him. Why is, it, why is it worth the risk? Then, like, even if I lose my right, like, then, but other people, you know, to my writing, there can be some help for, like, other people. So that, I want that to happen. One person, like, one person doesn't count. So even if I die, there'll be some other people, like, you know, to my writing, they'll understand what, what's happening and they'll gain some, they'll get some help. And somebody who probably has, who doesn't, uh, you know, know, uh, you know, anything more than a rudimentary knowledge of, uh, you know, his own language, you know, takes a gun and puts a bullet in a head, in a head that contains so much uh, and just, you know, snuff it all out in a matter of seconds. Inimele nupuri yoru koleye nadakrathukku nadaka vidama makkal adukkolum endradha nende On April 28, 2005, Sivaram was abducted in front of a police station in Colombo, Sri Lanka's capital city. He was leaving a restaurant where he had been talking with friends. Kusal Pereira, an old friend and fellow journalist, was the only witness to the abduction and the last known person to see Sivaram alive. So we continued till about 10.30, 10.40 and then decided it's time to leave. And when we were just walking out of the restaurant, Sivaram got a call on his mobile and he answered in Tamil. I stopped at the bus halt and turned right because the buses were coming from Kalambu side. And then uh, in, after about two, three minutes, I saw a bus coming. So I turned around to call Siva and found he was grappling with two men. There was a sleek, silver gray, uh, modern Prado type uh, vehicle. The, the rear door of the Uh, vehicle was open and he was being dragged in and that was over in a minute he would have been devastated to know that uh, his older daughter had to identify the body I and mean, that was just like the worst you know it was worse than actually him being dead was the fact that she had to go through with that and i i kept on thinking you know i i saw that there was a photograph of her that they published i think in the front page of sunday times you know, kneeling by seva's body and i thought my god you know this this would kill me he would, he would really have hated that he tried to protect them yeah he tried to take care very much she's 16 no she say she's my daughter so Okay, guys, you don't make me cry, okay? This is not a crying movie, so you just gotta stop doing it.
For me, purpose of media or journalism is to provide information for the people, for the reader, to be free and self-governing. <laughs> Paper la, rendu bidang mana wasi pukul tu kondo, andre kan ada kerusi yang lada pun orang la wasi kerana tu, adit tu renda awal tu, terana ibu khatre. Kurang kurang, amat amat jangan, ada benda, ada benda tu mana hebat, dana kan nampulai, wargi mana tu, itu mah di, mana ni, mungkin tu mah di, ni mana dekam, amang mahari amat dia amat dia amat terkira, amat terkira ni tengah kaya mana. To me the print medium is not the newspaper or the magazine is not only just two. Pass information to me. Tell what is happening, what has happened where. But it also shapes my own view of how to look at things. And when I have sort of differing views like that, then I am all the more bitter. Media's role is to, especially media in a country like Sri Lanka, which is affected by conflict, is to somehow ensure that the multiple perspectives in our country are reflected fairly in the media so that they, people know the complexity of problems, that they know how the other, other communities are thinking and uh, are thereby able to understand the hard decisions that political leaders often need to take in order to engage in conflict resolution. The media is to, to help hold politicians accountable. If media is well functioning. It is. It, it functions as a, a check and balance on government. The problem is, if we take it from the other side, if the media is not functioning, it's only fueling propaganda, and it can play into the hands of politicians. People read the newspapers and they believe them. The media in a society, in de democracy, is a part of civil society. But if you have politicians that can actually use the media or distort it. Or, or take advantage of the media.